Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is actually an infrared remote that I created, and I'm not using it for that purpose. Uh, I, I made an infrared remote control so that I could make my own protocol, uh, and I ended up uh, kiboshing that project. The remote itself, uh, I got no use for, so those PCBs are basically garbage. I'll write them off, but I was still able to uh, find a neat use for them just for an experiment. Uh, on the back is the power source. You get three 9 volt batteries in series, so it's powered by 9 volts, regulated down by a 78 lo 55 volt regulator. Instead of adding an infrared diode, I've uh, connected in, in a 433 MHz RF transmitter to it. Uh, I've written my own encoding software, and I've got my RF receiver here. This this board is a uh, it's a prototyping board that I uh, designed years ago just so that I can make little circuits in the in the prototyping stage. Anyhow, so right now the transmitter is on. The receiver is being powered by uh, my power supply here, and uh, so just watch what happens when I press one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. One two three. I'll press one two three again to turn those off. I'll do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Turn them all off. Turn them all on. Turn them all off again. Zero, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and all off. So it's a neat transmitter. I can do that from across the room. I can, uh, if I add a, if I had an antenna, I can go outside. I can actually go outside right now. Uh, it's got about, I'd say, about 50 meters. Uh, it works for about 50 meters, but again, I've got no external antenna connected right now, so uh, range is slightly limited, but this is just kind of me dinking around and prototyping. I've always wanted to write my own RF protocol. Uh, it's not overly complicated. Still has, I still have some work to do, but, uh, but uh, yeah, as of right now, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. When I finally have, when I all of a sudden done, I'll, ha I'll have custom boards made for both of them that'll be much more compact. Uh, in my transmitter board, it'll have an option of plugging in a matrix keypad. I've got a matrix keypad uh, circuit on the board here, but I'll make it so that you can control it via a header to your Arduino, or by selecting a jumper, you can use uh, an external matrix keypad. And the receiver, I imagine, will be probably about this size. It'll be less than half the size of this specific board. Anyway, just wanted to uh I just wanted to share with you guys. Uh hope you're having a great weekend and thanks for watching.